uh, uh, so okay. Ba- like, okay, would you, would you want to meet my friend Brandon Johnson? He's black. Yeah. He's black. Okay. <laughs> Brandon, come out. Brandon Johnson. The magic's already started. What's up, uh, man? Welcome. Okay. I'm so happy to be here. Thanks for having me back, Dan. Thank you. Uh, uh, it's an look, honor look to share the this stage. This sweater and this vest and the shirt. Like, how, how do you outdress me every goddamn time? I think, what would an old-timey black man from the 30s wear? <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, like, I, I, I have... Have we talked about this before, you and I? I, I want to be like one of those 70, 80-year-old dudes that has a kick-ass cane. <laughs> you know, like like a big like a, a like a bitching hat, yeah, and like just one of those cool old dudes that you see walking down the road, and like you, you can pull off like a cane with like an owl head on it. Yeah, I want it to be I want it to be full of Jameson and a little bit of weed and a little bit of cocaine, <laughs> so that when I bump into some young dude and he's like, "You old motherfucker," and I can be like, "Look here, young buck, look here, <laughs> got cocaine and marijuana, young buck." <laughs> See, not so unimpressive after all. Now, <laughs> I've and then hit that motherfucker with my cane. <laughs> I've changed my ambition. I want to be at, at any point in my life where I'm confident in calling anybody young blood. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, young blood? Don't pray for what you want, man. <laughs> I hate young black dudes, man. Because <laughs> they do not. They give you that look like you're not cool no more. You're, they can you're smell an old it. black dude. <laughs> Which is tragic. Old black woman with like, if she's standing back behind the counter and she serves you a pork chop, you're like, oh, thanks, old black lady. That's probably gonna be delicious as shit. But if an old black man in this sweater handed you a pork chop, you'd be like, fuck that. (laughs) What did you do wrong in life? (laughs) That's a very interesting... uh... But thank you for the compliment. (laughs) I would just say that you look like a very well-dressed older black gentleman. I'm just trying to find out who who killed Bumpy Knuckles. <laughs> like a fucking 1910 black detective. Is that a is that a uh, wait? Or is that a reference or an awesome riff of like a Ursatz uh, black detective? You, you, you haven't heard about the death of Bumpy Knuckles? No. <laughs> it's it's in all the papers. Is there any? Is there a Charlie Chan for uh, but, but black? Like like, a, like is there like a old is there like an old timey detective archetype that was a shaft? Well. <laughs> It, 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 I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna throw his detective work under the bus. But I, I, I'm saying. I, I'm, I mean, going back to Charlie Chan days when it was like, 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 was there? Is there like a classic like Uncle Ben of detecting? Like, like. <laughs> there's not. There's not. There was. There. There isn't. Right. It's there's, so hard, man, because I want to make up a dude for you right now. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know about the work of Charles Dujardin. Charles Dujardin was the first black actor to play a detective. I think and arrested moments later. 